political tensions are running high on the eve of the three-day planned protest by the opposition. Leaders from the government and the opposition have maintained hard lines in calling for a truce despite calls from religious leaders, civil societies and Kenyans at large. In this game of wits, who will back down first? Tracy Cheng with more on the same. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, are you ready? Leaders from both factions came out on the eve of the three-day planned protest to declare their stand with both camps taking hard lines. Azimiola Omoja, led by Martha Karua, affirmed that the protest will go on as planned despite the allegations of a brutal operation service unit, a.k.a. OSU, embedded in the police unit deployed to massacre protesters tomorrow. Kenya Kwanzaa has revived a properly resourced killer squad named Operation Support Unit under a certain Zachary Kuria, and it is embedded in the official police service for Z Z Zachary Kariuki. We know its members wear civilian clothes. They travel in groups of five people from one ethnic community. They are heavily armed with lethal weapons that the protests planned for Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday this week are on as earlier announced. The stalemate between President Ruto and the opposition has drawn attention from different stakeholders in the country. Civil societies, religious leaders, Kenyans and diplomats have asked that the two leaders dialogue to protect the lives and property of Kenyans. The team urged the president to heed the cry of the common man and address the imminent issues affecting the country at the moment. The protests whose onset was on Friday 7th have so far claimed the lives of 23 Kenyans, most of who were casualties of police brutality. Kenyans were killed. Uh, three bodies at Shalom Hospital. In fact, the names are there. There are now four. The Law Society of Kenya joined the bandwagon in condemning the police brutality witnessed in the protests that happened on Wednesday, 12th June, calling on the Independent Police Oversight Authority to investigate the deaths, injuries, and illegal arrests that happened. <laughs> President of the Law Society of Kenya, Eric Theory, also urged Kenyans to uphold the legitimacy of their right to picket and their sovereignty, as has been the slogan in the anti-government protests. ...of the public to maintain peace during protests and to note that the right to, to protest is protected in law when they are peaceful and unarmed. Leaders of the Kenya Kwanzaa government have called for a revision of the constitutional provision that grants Kenyans the right to picket, setting the country on a slippery path if the conduct of the MPs goes unchecked, judging by the way they have been voting in parliament to pass laws. The legitimate uh, expressions uh, by certain political uh, formations uh, that the current uh, protest is an invitation of the people then to exercise that power directly and as opposed to having that power exercised through uh, their appointed uh, representatives. The constitution confirms that the people of Kenya can exercise their sovereign power directly or democratically through elected leaders. The constitution also affirms that Kenyans have the right to picket and demonstrate freely. The Law Society of Kenya today proposed a national dialogue to mediate between the two political factions. But the question remains, is the democracy of Kenya left in the hands of the political elites? Tracy Ocheng reporting for GBS News.